Thank you, Hala, for that kind introduction. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Such an amazing uh, crowd. And I know that I'm going to step up because I'm shorter than I thought. Um, <laughs> I know that some of you came from thousands of miles away to join us. And some of you are likely visiting MIT for the very first time. Many of you have been at the Institute uh, for years, far longer than I have, and only had to walk from across campus. But wherever you've come from, near or far, welcome to Solve at MIT. So many of you know this is my first time speaking to the Solve community. Um, as Hala indicated, I've only been president. Uh, I'm a new president, and in fact, I've only been president for a few months, and my inauguration was just three days ago. So I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I hope you won't mind if I start by saying a few words about how I got here. So last fall, when MIT first reached out to me, I was happily settled at a school that I loved in a role that had lots and lots of interesting challenges. Um, as I said in my inauguration address as well, I was not exactly in the mood to leave. But, you know, MIT is MIT. And when the offer came, I just could not say no. Um, why is that? Because I knew that if I really wanted to make an impact, there was no better place to be than MIT. So I suspect your reasons for joining Solve are much the same. A powerful desire to make an impact to improve people's lives and to help solve very, very tough problems. Now, of course, I'm learning very quickly that the people of MIT love to solve tough problems, and MIT is overflowing with creativity and ingenuity and incredible concentration of talent and imagination, really united by a drive to make a difference. But, you know, despite all of that, the scale, the complexity, the global nature of the problems we're dealing with are so big that no single institution or industry or country can deal with them all on their own. We need strong partnerships and people who bring unique insights, new expertise, and firsthand experience of the different ways that global challenges can play out in different countries, in different cities, and in different communities. And this is exactly where SOLVE comes in. Around the world, solvers teams are taking on a huge range of problems. The 2022 group alone includes teams focused on reducing the damage from climate change, building more sustainable housing, improving access to childcare and elder care, reducing bias in healthcare systems, and figuring out how to increase digital literacy for people in underserved communities. No matter what the problem you've decided to take on, we're grateful to all of you for sharing your innovative solutions and striving to transform your ideas into impact. So I'm told that since its inception in 2016, Solve has received nearly 16,000 solutions in response to its annual challenges. Clearly, the competition to be selected as a Solver team is pretty fierce. So, to all of this year's winners, congratulations on your brilliant and important work. So let's give the winners a round of applause. And now, uh, I leave it to all of you to uh, get solving. So uh, thank you very much, and have a great time. <laughs>